Welcome to Dom Mecca Reacts. And in today's video, we're going to check out how to destroy the freaking universe. Three ways, actually, not just one way, three ways to destroy the freaking universe. Sometimes you're having a bad day and you just want a complete destruction of the whole galaxy, the whole universe. You follow this. This is the guide <laughs> to make it happen. We're going to check out this video by, I can't pronounce this channel's name. It's so crazy. Quartz in a nutshell. So this is one of the most amazing science based type channels. If you haven't subscribed to it or checked it out, go check out the videos. It's, it's lit. All right, let's get into it. The universe is going to die one day. But how? It how? turns out our cosmic fate will be decided by a fight between two titans. The two warriors deciding the fate of the universe. Our universe was born 14 billion years ago in the Big Bang and has been expanding ever since. For some reason, new... Ain't that crazy? 14 billion years ago. Before that, it was just a very dense point-like existence and everything you see here and in the galaxy and the universe was compressed to a very tiny space. It's just insane to think about. Empty space is being created out of nothing between galaxies. Space itself is becoming bigger. Will it go on forever or will it stop one day? That's, a, that's another big question. That's that there's a lot of theories where, you know, that expansion hasn't been a consistent rate where there was periods where it was faster and then there's periods that it's slower, but it seems to be accelerating at this time, which sucks. As things just get further and further away from us, they just drop out of existence for us in reality, right? Because we would not be able to reach them if we're still bound by the speed of light to travel. It makes it next to impossible to get anywhere. Just think about it now. It's probably... 30, 60, 70 billion light years across to travel from one end to the other. And that's if you, if everything stays put, <laughs> but everything is expanding faster and faster. Today, we think the universe is at the mercy of two cosmic demigods fighting for dominance. The first one is all the stuff in the universe, galaxies, gas, dark matter. While they're very different, they just want to do one thing, get together. Matter is attracted by matter, pulled together by gravity. And gravity also pulls on the universe as a whole, slowing the expansion that started at the Big Bang. Our second warrior is empty space. While it seems empty and powerless, empty space has an intrinsic energy. We don't really have Things come into existence, out of existence in empty space all the freaking time, which is crazy to think about also. Have an idea what this energy is or why it's there. It's really a placeholder that fills a blank in our understanding of reality. I wonder if in some time in the future, someone figures out how to harness that energy. And then you have unlimited energy everywhere you go, no matter where you're at. <laughs> but it's got a cool name, dark energy. Dark energy pushes things apart, a sort of anti-gravity that accelerates the cosmic expansion. We have all the matter in the universe pulling in and empty space infused with dark energy pushing out. Whoever wins will kill the universe in fun ways. But who will win? It all depends on the mysterious dark energy. Will its strength stay the same? A common assumption just because it keeps our models simple? Or will it get weaker? Or will it get more powerful over time? One. Constant dark energy. If the strength of dark energy stays constant, it will win the war. Since space is growing, matter is getting more and more diluted, like sugar in a cup being filled with more and more tea. But as the universe expands, new empty space is created, which brings more dark energy, which pushes everything apart even more, which creates more empty space, which makes the universe grow even faster. So picture that where now the universe, the next galaxy over is billions of light years beyond even light reaching us because <laughs> it's expanding at such speeds that it just like space is just being created in between two points 
example now for example say two galaxies and the rate of expansion could go f- faster than the speed of light <laughs> right so even light from our nearest neighbor galaxy eventually disappears obviously not in our lifetime but it's a crazy thought to think we've we are existing in a great time to be able to understand and see what the universe is made of and its history because all that light is still reaching us at this point a feedback loop that will make the universe expand at an exponential rate every 12 billion years or so it will double in diameter forever But while dark energy is winning the war, matter is winning at least one battle. At short distances, it can keep things together. Local galaxy bubbles can overcome the push of dark energy. In a few... But for how long? For how long? Billion years, our local group of galaxies will merge into a gigantic ball with trillions of stars. It will soon become our last view of the cosmos. All other galaxies will be pushed away by the expansion. For us, it will look okay. like the rest of the universe is rushing away until in a few hundred billion years, we won't see other galaxies. Okay, so it's in a few hundred billion years. If you get to live that long, oh my God. ...is at all. We'll be alone, surrounded by a seemingly infinite dark void. In about 100 trillion years, all the stars of our super galaxy will have died out. All gas that could create new stars has been consumed and no new gas can come in. The galaxy will be dark and filled with stellar corpses. Over quadrillions of years, white dwarfs and neutron stars will slowly cool until becoming truly dark, turning off the last lights of the universe. All Jeez. structures, big and small, will slowly dissolve. Jeez. One by one, all dead stars and planets will leave the supergalaxy, which slowly dissolves over six stillions of years. Jeez. Every object will end up on its own, which means that dark energy takes over again, creating more Jeez. and more empty space between everything. Objects will be so far apart that it will be as if each had a universe for itself. Not much happens anymore Jeez. until in a Google years, all black holes will have evaporated. In the end, entropy and dark energy won't stop until Jeez. their job is finished. Over time spans you might as well call forever, all remaining structures might even dissolve into single particles that will be pushed away from each other by an ever-growing empty space. Do you hear that? That is insane. Imagine a whole universe with just a single lonely particle traveling through nothingness. This is the final state, the true end, the big freeze or heat death, a completely featureless, cold and eternally expanding universe. Nothing will ever be able to happen again forever now that raises an interesting question does that mean entropy ends at that point well that was a bummer what else could happen Two, increasing dark energy big rip what if dark energy gets stronger in this case empty space won't just win over matter it will literally rip it to pieces in the big freeze scenario matter lost the war but won some battles but here matter wins nothing dark energy is growing stronger over time overcoming the pull of gravity and creating new empty space at smaller and smaller distances. In this scenario, things will escalate quickly. It could start as early as 20 billion years from now. 20 billion years. For us, that's forever. But in the grand scheme of things, it's because the universe is 14 billion years old. (laughs) So we're already past pretty much the halfway point almost crazy first dark energy will create empty space between individual galaxies our galaxy will leave its local cluster and begin to drift alone in a rapidly inflating and ever darker cosmos some billion years later empty space starts to push between individual stars dissolving the galaxy if you live on a planet in a star system the night sky will start looking sad and gloomy as other stars are pushed too far away to be seen A few million years after the sky turns, dark energy starts to create empty space inside star systems. Damn, that means we get way further and further away from the sun. There goes life on Earth. The planet is pushed away from its star and all life in the universe freezes to death. There's not much time left as a few months later, dark energy is creating empty space inside solid objects. What? What? Stars, neutron stars, planets, asteroids, everything solid 
is being ripped into pieces. If you're on a spaceship, you only have a short time before you are ripped apart. Half an hour later, even atoms are destroyed as new space is being created so furiously that electrons and nuclei are separated. Now the universe has just a fraction of a second left. In this final moment, only dying black holes remain, drained and defeated by dark energy. They're tiny, septillions of times smaller than an atom, and they explode with the power of a trillion supernovae in a trillionth of an octillionth of a second. Finally, the very fabric of reality is torn to its core, obliterating space-time itself. The Big Rip. Space and time... The Big Rip. I think this feels like the most unlikely one. It just feels that way, because, jeez. ...have lost their meanings, making it impossible to predict what will happen next. Because if it is likely to go this way, we probably would be starting to see evidence of that somewhere. Whew. Three, decreasing dark energy, big crunch, poor matter. But there is one scenario where it wins. If the strength of dark energy decreases with time, and if this reduction is strong enough, the pull of gravity will win and all the things in existence will move towards each other, unfortunately making the universe collapse into itself. No one knows when this might begin, but it could be as soon as a few hundred million years. What? This one has even a shorter timeline? A few hundred million years? That is crazy. See, this one, I could see that this one feels more realistic compared to the, the very last one with the big rip. Because if the universe started as a singular point with the infinite density of the whole universe... This seems it's the expansion and then collapse, expansion and collapse. The beginning, how, how the universe began is maybe how the universe ends and restarts. What will it look like? As the universe begins to contract over billions of years, galaxies and galaxy clusters approach each other until they eventually collide. They're mostly made of empty space, so a collision is like the gentle merger of two clouds. At any rate, first galaxies and later individual stars get closer and closer. As the universe goes on collapsing, you might worry about stars and planets eventually crashing against each other. This will happen, but it's not your worst problem. If space itself shrinks, this also concentrates all the radiation emitted in the past by all the stars, supernovae and quasars that ever existed. Jeez. Now, empty... You're gonna get fried in empty space. <laughs> space is filled with radiation. The dark nothing between stars is heating up, making life unpleasant and then impossible as planets just burn. Slowly at first, then rapidly, space gets as hot as it was after the Big Bang. Stars are pretty, uh, there you go. pretty hot, but now the space around them is hotter. They're literally boiled from the outside. As the universe collapses into itself, all galaxies and all stars merge into a single ball of hot plasma. The Big Crunch is complete. From here on, there are two possibilities. Either the universe will collapse completely into a singularity, a point of zero size and infinite density. How the universe began, right? Without space and time. The way it might have been before the Big Bang. The universe could bounce back, restarting the cosmic expansion, creating a new baby universe. Somewhat poetic, really. Yep, I restart the whole thing again. And it could be, there could be a period. This, I'm just pulling this out my, how my backside. There could be a period where it stays as singularity and then re-expands. But then in the Big Bang Theory, it, it doesn't, it doesn't claim to know what or how long it was in the singularity state, right? So it could have been a millisecond. So it could have been the point where everything collapsed into one and, and it instantly re-expanded to the Big Bang. So we don't know how, we don't know. It's impossible to know at this point. Everything died, but everything is reborn. But to be clear, we have zero evidence that this has happened before or will in the future. So what will happen? Most scientists think that dark energy will stay constant, so the likely fate of the universe is heat death, eternal cold, and utter boredom. Which seems sad, but has a huge upside. In this scenario... Let me guess, in that scenario, the universe lasts the longest. We get to have the universe for the longest. It gives us trillions of years to expand, jump from star to star, maybe even from galaxy to galaxy. 
We might even find a way to keep consciousness around forever. We don't know. So we just have to wait and see and make the most of the amazing universe we have right now. Hey Crazy. you, why don't you stick around for a bit? Crazy. Anyways, that was an interesting exploration. The visuals from this channel is amazing. What do you think? Do you think we're going to have the big crunch, big freeze, the big rip? <laughs> Which one is it going to be? The heat death? Yo. I know this is trillions and trillions into the future, but it's sad to think at one point, everything will cease to exist. And it's just a matter of fact. There's no stopping it. We got, if you think about it also, our life is so short. If you live to a hundred, you're very blessed to live to a hundred years old. And that's a freaking millisecond, not even in, in the existence of the universe, the existence of a humanity as a whole on this planet so it really drills in the sense that you should live every day to the fullest potential do what you can experience what you can and enjoy life as much as you can and focus on the good anyways make sure to like subscribe and comment below let me know what you think which is the most likely scenario bye until the next video